Hey, good morning. This is Cultivate Your Heart for Wednesday, August 28th, 2024. And, you know, every once in a while, I say every once in a while, it's more like a lot of times. Um, one of the things I do on Sunday afternoons is I go back and I um, just rewatch the sermon from Sunday and just try and, you know, pay attention, learn. Oh, man, I. I could have done said this better, I could have said that better, and more than every once in a while, I think to myself, I really could have said that better. Um, and this week was no different. Uh, we were talking this week about um, lots of things. We were talking about uh, Hebrews 10, 24, actually Hebrews 10, 19 through, um, through 25, and we were talking about the way that we are saved by the blood of Jesus, and we are to cling to the hope that we have because of that. And then we talked about kind of um, kind of the way we were supposed to live as Christians, some things we were, were called to do. And we are, um, one of those things is not neglecting our meeting together. And as a um, example of that, I referred back to Acts chapter 2. And at the end of Acts chapter 2, um, or in Acts chapter two, Peter gives this um, gives this sermon, gives this message, and uh, it says that three thousand people were added to added to the church that day. Those who believed what Peter said were baptized and added to the church that day, about three thousand in all. And then I said, and the very next verse says, all the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's supper and to prayer. And what I said was, um, when these people became Christians, when we become Christians, we don't just like go and just be individual Christians, right? We, um, when we become followers of Christ, we um, we are not just saved into a relationship with Jesus, like that's vertically. We're not just saved into a relationship with Jesus. Um, and I'm saying a little more than I said on Sunday, um, but we are saved into a relationship with one another. That's horizontal. And what I said was something to the effect of um, like they, when they were saved, they went and they participated in the church. And when I was rewatching this on Sunday and I said they went and they participated in the church and I saw that on Sunday afternoon, I was like, oh man, I wish I didn't say that. Here's what I wish I had said. When they were saved into their relationship with Christ, they went and they became the church. They did not go and participate in the church. They became the church. They were the church. Church is not something, not only something that we participate in. Church is not something or only something that we go to. Church, the church, is something that we are. Remember, the Greek word is ekklesia, which means called out ones. That's that's where we get um, that's where we get church from. The word church from is ekklesia, called out ones. There's a, a a kind of study called ecclesiology, which is the study of the church, and we are not called to participate with the church. We are not expected to participate. With the church. We are not expected to go to church. These people in Acts chapter 2 became the church. These people in Acts chapter 2 were the church. This is no different for us. When we become followers of Christ, we are to become the church. We are to gather with the church. We are to participate with the church. We are to be together with the church because we are the church. We are to do the things that the church does because it's who we are. That's my hope and that's my prayer for you today is that you would not only, not merely look at the church as, as a place to go, 
that you would not think about the church as like, I'm going to go participate with the church, but that you would see that you are the church. And when you are the church, that changes everything about you. It changes your mindset about the people that we gather with on Sunday mornings and beyond. It changes our mindset about every single thing when we think about the church. So my hope and my prayer for you today is that you would be the church. And the church is devoted to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to sharing meals, and to prayer. And that's the kind of church we want to be at Westway Christian Church. I love you. I'm praying with you and I'm praying for you. Hope you have a super day. Wednesdays at Westway starts tonight. I would love to see you there at 6 p.m. tonight. Community meal at 6. Small groups, children's ministry, student ministry, Embrace Grace. All sorts of amazing ways to be the church tonight at Westway Christian Church. See ya.